If you need Madden coins on any platform, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. For a limited time only, use code CLICKWID for 20% off your entire order. Hey, what is going on, guys? ClickWood here, back again, bringing you guys another Madden 16 salary cap budget episode. Guys, today, the position that we're taking a look at is cornerback. Now, in my opinion, this is one of the most important positions in Madden. It is questionable, though, because there are a lot of people who believe that cornerback is just one of those things where uh, in this game, it's just kind of a broken position and attributes aren't as important. So it's kind of up to you as far as how much you want to spend. Uh, I actually like to stick around 50 or maybe even a little bit below that. So we're going to start off here taking a look at guys that are $50 as far as salary cap or below. And we're going to kind of analyze the guys who I think are best that fall into this range. Somewhere about 40 to 50 salary cap dollars or so. So uh, in this video, these are going to be the guys that I think right now in the game that are somewhere between about 40 to 50 bucks are the best cornerbacks for your money. So with that being said, let's go in here and take a look at the very first guy on the list. And that's somebody that you're probably used to seeing if you've watched any of my other budget series episodes. Uh, we've done some of these in the past for just standard Madden Ultimate Team, and this card was on that as well. And it continues to go down in price. It's going for about 30,000 coins right now. Its price as far as salary is only 42, but this is a nice, very balanced cornerback card. 93 speed and 90 acceleration is a good combination. It's not the best by any means. He's not going to keep up with like the real high-end burners in sim simple man coverage, but certainly for fast enough to do the job for the most part. 92 awareness and 92 play recognition as well. He's a smart player. His jumping is one of the best attributes for him as well at a 96. Catching is, is a little bit low, only a 69 for pure catching and a 51 for catching traffic, which is pretty mediocre. But where he makes up for it is that he is really balanced as far as just a pure corner goes. 94 man coverage, 92 zone, both really nice attributes. And then he's also got 88 press, which is solid as well. Block shedding and strength and tackling and hit power are kind of low on this card. They're not the best. 51 for a block shed, 56 for a strength, and uh, only 60 for a tackling and 47 for hit power. So he's not the best as far as run support, but again, a really, really good coverage corner and somebody that you can get for fairly cheap right now, both on salary cap and as far as price in Ultimate Team. Next on the list, guys, we have another guy who's a pretty good overall cornerback, and that's Legend Ty Law. Now, this one's a little more expensive. It's 50 for salary, and it's about 50,000 coins if you want to buy him outright on Ultimate Team. Now, he is 5'11", just like the Jonathan Joseph. He does kind of actually have attributes that are flipped as far as the speed and acceleration in comparison to that Joseph. 90 speed, 93 acceleration. 90 speed for me is actually a little bit low. I think that you do typically want a guy that has a little bit better speed than that, but if you're somebody that plays him in a lot of zone coverage, uh, you could definitely do a good job with that. And also, if you have somebody over the top so that he doesn't get burnt over the top. That's kind of a smart thing to do with this card as well. But as far as like covering those corner routes, the out routes and things like that that are difficult to stop, the slants, this card is really, really good at that. He has excellent play recognition at a 92. Uh, his jumping is a 90 as well, which is solid. His catching is very, very high in 82. So if they throw his way and he gets his hands on it, he is going to come up with it most of the time. Man coverage is a 97 for this card. Incredible attribute there. And he's still good in zone at a 93. His press is also excellent. So if you play a lot of press man, Ty Law is a really, really good card to do that. And I know a ton of people do that at this point in Madden. 61 for a block shed, 65 for a strength is actually pretty decent for a cornerback. Ta tackling is a 68 and hit power is a 77 as well, which is very, very high for a cornerback. So again, a really nice balance card, but a little bit more expensive than the Jonathan Joseph. I, could, I basically would say he's a little bit of a boosted up Jonathan Joseph if you wanted to look at it that way. So again, nice card. But but definitely somebody that uh, is going to cost you a little bit more than your Jonathan Joseph. Up next, we've got another nice card, another team MVP, Rasheen Mathis, 93 overall. It's going for 42 as far as salary as well, 30,000 coins on the auction block. He is six foot one as well, which is an advantage over the other cornerbacks that you're going to see in today's video, uh, which are mostly five foot 11, five foot 10. Uh, his speed and his acceleration are not the best. He's only a 91 speed with an 88 acceleration. Again, 
somebody you probably want to have help over the top with most of the time, but he has some really nice attributes that you can certainly take advantage of. Uh, I think the big thing about this card that I particularly like is that he has really high awareness at a 96, really high play recognition as well at another 96, and his zone coverage is 97. So this is a card that if you put in him in zone coverage, he's going to do a really, really nice job for you because he's got those things where he can kind of figure out where the, the guys are going to be and make the plays based off of his attributes. So there's definitely something I like about this Rasheen Mathis. His 91 man coverage isn't the highest, but it's still decent for the most part. 71 for catching and a 66 for catching traffic. His block shedding, though, is kind of a detriment, to be completely honest with you. He's only got a 40 for block shedding, 68 for strength, which is actually pretty good. Uh, but his tackling is low and his hit power is also very, very low at an only 46 for hit power and 55 for tackling. So this is definitely a zone coverage cornerback. But somebody that can do a good job if you run a lot of zone coverage. And I wanted to make sure that I mixed somebody in here that was good at pure zone coverage and isn't a complete detriment at man coverage as well. So the last and final card that I want to show you on today's video, guys, is a newer one. We kind of take we've kind of been taking a look at some of the older cards, the team MVPs and things like that, the original legends. But this one is a draft card. This is Mackenzie Alexander, the Vikings draft pick, uh, who kind of looks like he's gonna be a stud for Madden at least. Um, I actually they haven't had a chance to play with this card, but I've seen other people mention him. His salary is 44. He's going for about 35,000 coins, but where he is really, really nice is speed and acceleration. So if you want somebody that can keep up with the defense, and, or keep up with the offense on defense, I should say, and play man coverage and not get burnt over the top, this is your card. And again, 95 speed, 97 acceleration, really, really quick. He also has 96 man coverage, which is only one behind Ty Law. Now, his his zone coverage is not very good at all. He only has an 85. That's pretty mediocre for a cornerback. But again, if you're somebody that runs a lot of man coverage, this is a really, 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 really nice card. Catching attributes leave a little bit to be desired. Only a 52 for pure catching. That's pretty low. That's the lowest of the guys that we've seen by quite a bit in today's video. And his catching traffic is only a 55. But again, you're going to be looking at somebody that's got some sort of problems with them no matter what as far as this price range goes. So again, I really like this card as far as a pure man coverage corner goes and somebody that can go up against those top receivers and not just get beat deep over and over and over and over again. One thing that he is a little bit low in is that he's only 5'10", but I still think that's good enough for the most part. So with that being said, guys, that is the end of today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor. Go ahead and click that like button below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Guys, more of these types of videos are on the way, and I'm also going to be doing some gameplay and pack openings here over the next day or two. So be on the lookout for that. We might also have a live stream as well. So pay attention to that. Again, twitch.tv forward slash TV. Very good chance that we'll be doing a Pink Slips live game for you guys to watch at some point over the weekend. So thanks again so much for all the support, guys. I really, truly do appreciate it. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos. And again, if you are, do me a favor, click the like button and subscribe. And one last thing, I want to hear from you guys. Who are the best cornerbacks that you've found under 50 for the salary? And also, do you think that you should spend more than 50 on your cornerbacks? There are some people that think so, some people that don't. I want to hear in the comments section below. What do you guys think? Thanks again so much, guys, and I'll talk to you again soon.